Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing my May favorites. I have a variety of products here, so let's just go ahead and get into it. But first, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more content from me and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Let's start with sort of a random favorite. And this is actually a water bottle from Etsy. I recently saw Taylor Wynn talk about this in her like aesthetic Etsy products that you need video. And I was very, very intrigued by it. So I went ahead and picked it up. I just think it's really cute. It's like a clear carton looking bottle. It opens up on the top here and then you also have the lid right here. So you can drink out of it two ways. And I just think it's a cute um, bottle to take out with you for the day. I've been loving it lately. So you gotta stay hydrated somehow. You guys know I like to share my fashion favorites at the beginning of the video. So now that we've talked about that, I wanna talk about the only like clothing thing that I have to talk about in this video. It's actually a set and it is from Shein. So I don't really shop on those websites anymore, but this was a really great deal and it's true to size and they're so cute and come in so many colors. So you get a really cute little tank top. I have this in kind of like a brown shade. You have just a pair of long, pajama pants. I posted a picture in this on Instagram, so I'll pop that on the screen. And then you also get this like cardigan thing to go over top. So I just think that's a really cute lounge set and it's comfy, it's thin, so it's not too hot for summertime. And I just wanna live in it, to be honest. I'm definitely gonna be getting more colors. Let's go straight into a hair product. This is the Ava NYC Bounce Back Curl Reviving Mist. It's kind of like a refreshing mist. I tried this out in my last vlog video along with a couple of other products. And this was my favorite. It's the one that stood out to me. Um, I've really been enjoying this, just mist in my hair for a refresher. I haven't been using it for that long, but for the times that I have used it, I've really been enjoying it because it's very light and it doesn't make my hair feel greasy or leave a film on it or anything like that. We're gonna have to see, but this might end up being my new favorite refreshing mist, so. I'll of course let you guys know as time goes on, but I have really been enjoying this one. Another hair favorite is just these claws. I know these are really in right now. Everybody has been using them. I got mine from Amazon. I have right here the green one and the nudie one. I wear the nude one and the black one the most, but the black one is in my car and I'm not sure where the other pink one is. So these are the only ones I have here. I've been wearing these for a couple months now, so I could have actually talked about this in my last month's favorites, but I guess I just forgot or something. Definitely a great little buy if you're into this trend. Okay, let's do something a little bit different and not talk about my fragrances at the very end of the video. Let's mention them now. Also, shameless plug, if you guys haven't checked out my fragrance channel yet, I will have it linked down below. I've been having so much fun with those videos, but I have a body mist to talk about today. This is Victoria's Secret Midnight Bloom. I feel like this is so underrated. I heard another girl here on YouTube talk about this. I think it's Ksenja. That might be wrong, but she basically said that no one was talking about this and that it's amazing. So I picked it up and I have to agree with her that it's a dupe for like that Ariana Grande Cloud Baccarat Rouge type of deal. Honestly, I know everyone's probably sick of hearing about dupes for those, but this is super good and it's very cheap. It smells like cloud without the coconut note and you would think that would make it smell a little bit more like Baccarat Rouge, but really, it's a little bit less sweet than both of those. So I find it to be like a little bit mature and more expensive smelling than it is to be honest. This is definitely worth checking out. So the other fragrance here that I have is just a little mini from Nest. Um, you guys know that Nest Indigo is one of my favorite fragrances. This is Indian Jasmine. Something about this is just so calming to me. I love wearing this to bed. It makes me feel clean and cozy. And it definitely has really good performance for a perfume oil, which I should have said. Did I say this is a perfume oil? I don't know, but it smells amazing and it performs really well. It just smells like a very sweet jasmine. It's definitely a sweet, sweet fragrance, but I really like jasmine and I think this is such a beautiful scent. And like I said, I love wearing it to bed. I guess we'll talk about skincare and then we'll do makeup last. So I have to talk about this first because this was a big surprise for me, to be honest. Um, this is from Dirty Works Good Clean Fun. Not 100% sure if that's the brand, but it kind of looks like a Soap and Glory knockoff. And I've seen this at TJ Maxx and Marshalls before. Um, and I was actually running low on my body scrub. The Tree Hut ones have always been my favorite, but I saw this and I really wanted to try it out. It smells really good, just like sweet and sugary, to be honest. Um, a little bit of like a tartness in there, but 
I was actually very pleasantly surprised by the formula of this. I thought it was just gonna be a regular old sugar scrub, but this is so creamy. It almost gets like this creamy lather. It doesn't really lather up, but just like a creamy lather and it exfoliates so well. The granules don't melt as fast as I feel like some of the Tree Hut ones can. Um, so it just really exfoliates you and it smells good and it's amazing, honestly. I'm definitely gonna be paying more attention to this brand moving forward because this was really nice and it might be my new favorite body scrub. Now into the real skincare. So the first thing that I have here is a cleansing balm from the Inkey List. This is their oat cleansing balm. I talked about this in my Sephora and Ulta haul video and this is only $10 and you get five ounces of product, which is insane. The first couple times I tried this though, I was definitely disappointed because I could not get this product to like squeeze out of the tube. I don't know if it was just like really cold outside and so this was like just getting really solid, um, but I could not get it to squeeze out. The product itself though was great. I really liked the formula. It took all my makeup off and so affordable and it doesn't really have a scent. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, this would be a great option. But then all I did is run it under some hot water like one time and I honestly have not had a problem since. It has warmed up though, so it could just be a combination of that. But I also think just running it under hot water one time, just the outside of the bottle, helped to like melt it a little bit better. So that's been good since. And it's just a really great quality, affordable cleansing balm. Uh, another thing from that haul is my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Wow. This stuff is really creamy, very moisturizing. I have to say it doesn't give me that like glow factor that I was looking for for underneath my makeup, but I can always mix it with an oil or something if I want the extra glow or just use a glowy setting spray. Um, but it does the job of moisturizing really well, which is a really great thing. So I would totally use this in my skincare routine as well, but I have been really enjoying it for under makeup. And the last skincare product is from Bosha. This is their Rose Water Mist with Witch Hazel. And this is a product that I found at TJ Maxx, so it was discounted and I have really, really been enjoying it. It's been a beautiful rose water mist. The ingredients in this are good. Also something I forgot to mention about this scrub, the ingredients in this are a lot better than you would think by looking at the packaging. It does have fragrance, but other than that, the ingredients are very clean. So just something to note, but I have really been enjoying this face mist. I don't think you need specifically this one. I think just a good rose water spray is beautiful to kind of refresh your face or do as your first or last skincare step or even use it as a toner, which is what I sometimes use it for. But I did want to mention this one because it's one that I think is really good in case you've been wanting to try it out. Last couple things I have here are my makeup products. I have to first talk about this tower 28 gloss oh my gosh you guys i'm obsessed with this it's so juicy and glossy and not sticky at all it's so creamy when you put it on your lips it has a very light sweet kind of coconut scent but it is literally so mild that you almost don't notice it someone else i know said they didn't really notice it at all so it's very very faint but it's just there for a little something something and it's very lightly tinted pinkish. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's not actually pink and it looks completely clear on the lips, but it does have just that little bit of like tint where it kind of looks like you are wearing it over top of a lipstick, if that makes sense. But that's not the case. That is just the gloss. Also, I think the packaging of this is so cute and trendy and I really, really like it. It's only $14 on Sephora, so I would say go ahead and pick that one up if you've been debating on it, because I was for a while, and then I just did it, and I'm so glad I did. Next thing is a concealer, but I have been using this as my bronzer, and oh my gosh, you guys, wow. So this is also from the haul video. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I've had and used this before in the past, but I've never tried a darker shade for bronzer. So this is their warm olive shade and I was worried this was going to be too dark for me, but it actually is a perfect shade for like bronzer for me. It looks so beautiful. It's so warm and sun-kissed on the skin, perfect summer shade and it blends in absolutely beautifully. If you have been eyeing that milk cream bronzer that I talk about all of the time, but you don't want to spend the money, pick this up because... It, it's like a cream bronzer. My favorite brush to use this with is my e.l.f. 
professional powder brush. It's not a powder brush. It's a tiny little brush. Um, and this one is very, very soft. I don't know about the other brushes from this line. I know some people say that they're a little bit stiff. This one is not like that at all. It's very soft. And I love this for all of my cream bronzer products and it works beautifully with this. Also the brow combo from my video, um, wow. I love this. This is the Milani Weekend Brow Eyebrow Tint Pen in soft brown. And then we have the Merit Tinted Brow Gel. And this is the shade brown. This is a beautiful combo. It's so natural, so like uh, feathery, and it just gives me that look that I want. I feel like I won't be using my brow pencil again, or at least not for a long time, because this pen is just it gives me the exact look that I want, that natural feathery look. Um, and you could totally use this as well if you don't want a feathery look. It's just a lot more natural on the brows and it doesn't look as overdone. And then the Merit brow gel is just really, really nice, gives a nice tint to the brows and sets them in place, I feel like, better than some of my other tinted brow gels. So just something to note. And then last product, I have here is the Flower Blush Balm in Cinnamon. This is also, again, from that video. This just is absolutely beautiful. I have it on my cheeks today, so hopefully it's showing up on camera and these lights aren't washing me out. But this is just such a beautiful peachy brown shade. It definitely has that brown undertone to it, but it still has a peachy warmth. And I just think that it's so pretty. My favorite way to apply this I've discovered is with my stipple brush. So that's what I'll be doing. It gives me the most pigmented, juicy, dewy effect. Currently, this and my ColourPop one are my favorite cream blushes or just blushes in general in my collection. And then also just something to know, I filmed a video last night and I put on this So Retrograde blush from ColourPop. I'm not sure, I think this was limited edition, but it was like the collab with Kathleen Lights. So if any of you guys have this, try layering it on top of the cinnamon blush. And wow, absolutely fire combo. It is so just like summery and juicy. And literally all I do is I take my e.l.f. brush like this, tap it in one time and just lightly tap it on the top of my cheeks. I don't have it on today, but I wore it last night. Just the littlest amount makes such a big difference. It's super beautiful. So that is all of my favorites from the month of May. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you enjoy my favorites videos. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and you can also subscribe down below if you want to, and I will see you all next time. Breaking stuff over here.